This is an interesting case of an obstructing kidney stone with calyceal rupture. You have a non-contrast CT of the abdomen and pelvis. You can tell it's non-contrast because there's nothing in the aorta or other blood vessels. This is the best way to look for a kidney stone. Kidney stones are almost always bright by themselves, so if anything, contrast is just going to make it more difficult to see them. So we're starting at the level of the kidneys. Here they are. We have some renal cysts. In this case, we're just going to ignore them. I don't see anything bright in the renal collecting systems. So we have to follow down the ureters to see if there's a stone in the ureter. Following the ureters can be difficult, especially in this case, because you can see there's all this fluid in the lower left abdomen. We're gonna have to figure out where that's coming from. Keep going down. And again, difficult to see, but if you know the anatomy, you know that the ureters insert on the posterior inferior portion of the bladder. So I'm a little worried about this calcification right here. It's only one or two millimeters, but it's right at where I would expect that ureter to insert into the bladder. So one way we can confirm this finding is with a post-contrast scan. And in this case, we've done a urogram. So we've given contrast in two different boluses, imaged once. And so that first contrast bolus has made it all the way to the renal collecting systems. And the second bolus is in the kidneys. So we're able to see enhancement of the kidneys and the collecting system. We'll start with the right side, because this is the normal side. Kidney enhances, again we have some renal cysts. We're able to follow that contrast that's in the urine, down the ureter, all the way into the bladder. So if we focus again on our left side, here's the left kidney. There's contrast in the collecting system. It starts to have this bizarre appearance. You see contrast in the urine, but then there's other fluid. And if we follow down the ureter, you don't see any contrast in the ureter itself. In fact, all the contrast is outside and surrounding the ureter. This confirms our diagnosis of a calyceal rupture. So the collecting system in this case has effectively ruptured and urine has spilled into the abdomen. You can follow the ureter down to see if we were right about that kidney stone. All the way down, here's that ureter, and boom, there's that kidney stone it is indeed lodged there at the urinovesical junction, and that is our culprit. That was causing backup, increased pressure. You can see the ureter is still a little bit dilated on the left side, and ultimately rupture of the collecting system. So if we had imaged before the collecting system rupture, we might have just seen left hydronephrosis, maybe a delayed nephrogram because of the back pressure in the kidney. But since the collecting system ruptured, we don't see that hydronephrosis anymore. All we see is the urine spillage then of course that stone which is still there. So the take home points for this case are that CT evaluation for kidney stones should always include a non-contrast CT because they're bright by themselves. Delayed phase imaging can be helpful to evaluate the collecting systems and ureteral stones may obstruct and cause hydronephrosis and collecting system rupture in some cases.